Hello everyone, welcome to Learn Our Flow. In this video, we'll discuss another difficult problem that is the contains duplicate two. This is an easy type problem, and we'll understand how we can solve this problem and how we can think of finding a solution to this kind of questions. So first of all, the question says, uh, given an integer array nums and an integer k, we to return true if uh, there are two indices i and j in the array such that nums i equal to nums j and absolute value of i minus j is less than or equal to k. So what it means is like we need to return uh, true if and only if we have like two different uh, indices uh, in the array where the value at this indices are equal, that's nums i equals nums j. So values are equal and the difference between them, okay, the difference between them is uh, less than or equal to k. Okay, so that's the thing we are uh, looking for. Fine. So it's pretty simple, like you are traversing the whole list and here you are trying to find out the, uh, if there is a duplicate, you need to see the difference between them should be less than or equal to k. Fine. So that's the idea. That's the whole idea. Now, how we should uh, try to find a solution to this, okay? How we should do that? Now, there can be two ways to do, uh, like find a solution to this. Number one, you can use a hash map and the other approach is using a, a sliding window concept, okay? So I will discuss both of them. So first of all, if you're using hash map, so what your idea will be? You will, uh, first of all, you will traverse the whole num array one by one, okay? And what you will do, you will first try to find out, like, whether this hash map contains the particular value. Say, say you have one, two, three, and one, okay? Now, first of all, you will check whether you, you are at the first one, okay? You will check whether the hash map contains this or not. No, it doesn't contain. So, you simply add this value, okay? You simply add this value, uh, like this value one with map two. What map two is index. What is index? Zero. Fine, that you do. Next, you found two. Two is it there within our uh, map or not? If that map dot contains uh, two. No. So we just map two with our uh, what? We just map two with our value. Value means uh, the, sorry, with the index index is one over here. Then you find three. So we again map three with our index or uh, two. Fine. Now, now the next thing is next thing is we found one. Fine. Now we found one, and we find that one is there in our. Uh, uh, map already. Now, what we need to do is like, what is the current index of one? Current index of one is three. Fine. So we do three minus what is the previous like map dot get uh, one. So what is the previous index of one? So we get zero. So three minus zero. We will find if this is less than or equal to our k. If this is less than or equal to our k, we will return true. But in case this is not less than or equal to k, let's say this is greater than k. Okay. What will happen? We'll simply add. Uh, map dot uh, like map dot put what uh, this uh, one comma will update this zero to three, right? Because we why we are updating see uh, like the idea you need to understand why we are updating is mainly because the difference we already found is greater than k. Okay, we are considering this difference to be greater than k for this example. Let's say the difference we already found is greater than k. So we need to check whether there is other value within that uh, within that. Uh, but uh, is possible or not like other values within the whole numbers array why the difference might be possible because zero is already too far off right we already found that zero is too far off and this is cannot be a value so now we should check and we should update this value with the current index so that further if we find an, uh, another one we will see the shortest distance not the whole distance previously okay so this is the idea now, this approach is pretty simple and much faster as well. So here we just simply updating keep updating and once we find we return true. Okay. So this is the first approach. The next approach we have is uh, using an uh, sliding window concept. Okay. So what the sliding window is, we don't use a, a set a, like hash map for this case, rather we will use a hash set in this case. Okay. So what we'll do, we'll uh, first of all we'll traverse to the whole uh, as always we'll traverse to the whole term array. Right? Fine. Now we'll check if this uh, sliding window already contains our uh, or better say we'll check whether our has uh, set contains our one like this contains a value or not. Fine. If it contains a value, we'll return true. But you'll say, oh wait, how how we can say that? Okay. The next consideration comes here. We'll check whether the index is greater than or equal to k. If our index is greater than equal to, okay, we'll remove it. Okay, see how it is. Thus. Okay, so let me let me just uh, change it to two. Okay, because it is it giving me true for three. So let me just change it to two. For that, it will tell me false. Now, see, consider this thing. How, how we are going ahead with that? So first of all, we are checking uh, if our sliding window or let's say the set contains our num index, we should return true. Fine. And if our index is greater than equal to k, 
we should remove that value like previous value from uh like from our point so first of all first thing first is like well a keep adding okay so first of all we, we got a set over here so first we just added one okay remember set doesn't store them in exact order so it can be at any order so i'm just writing it in the order first of all we added one fine next we uh found two that's two is there no so we added two fine similarly we added three because three is also not there uh, previously in the set now the next thing contain comes is and the next thing we come ahead is one now here comes the question okay so here we check that what is already there in your set yes we will return true right so this is the first condition we'll see that if what is already there in the uh, uh set will return true but the question here is how how this is valid the valid is like we'll keep a check whether a current index okay uh current index i'm saying ind is greater than equal to or k or not if a current index is greater than equal to k what we'll do we'll remove our current value okay say we are we are at 3 right the index is 3 so 3 is greater than equal to k right so what we will do the first of all it will happen at 3 at this position only fine so for that what what was the index index was 2 so index is greater than or equal to k k i updated as 2 right so index equal to k so what will happen it will remove nums of index minus k so nums of index was 2 index was 2 okay minus k is like index was 2 k was 2 so that's the equal so we will simply remove nums of index minus k so what that will happen is like nums of 0 will get removed so what's the nums of 0 nums of 0 is 1 so that's how we remove that fine now we will check 1 uh, and we will find whether 1 is there in our list or not if it's not there we will simply uh, we'll simply update the file or we'll simply say true if if it's there we'll simply say true or else we'll keep updating and if the end of the whole um, array we didn't find any true value being written so that means we return false okay so this concept is also a bit interesting so first of all let me just quickly write down that uh, hash uh, like hash map concept then i will use this i'll show this set concept like uh, how this set concept is working okay let's go ahead with that So let's see what we did with this question. We got first we checked for a uh, k equals zero or not. So why we're checking this? Uh, just because the k is already given here. Fine, k is given here. Uh, k can be zero in our constraints. Fine. So if k is zero, that means we are at the same index. Okay. But our question says this should be uh, distinct indices, right? So k zero is already false. Fine. Then we took a hash map. In the hash map, we tra uh, like first of all we traverse through the whole nums array, and in that we took each of the values. Okay, so we just check if our value is already there in the hash map. If our value is already there, then we try to check if our i minus hash map dot k. So the hash map dot k will return as the index previous index. So i minus hash map dot k is less than or equal to k. If it is so, we will return true. And in the normal case if this is not there or if the value is not uh, uh, like if the subtraction is not less than or equal to k we will return i should not put a val comma i i with the index and the value we are putting it fine another thing we need to look for over here is like see we are said that we should be the absolute value of i minus a right but see over here Uh, like would it uh, create any kind of problem over here like any kind of negative numbers or something like that no why is it so because by default i is something say if that value is contains in that so i is something on the right hand side right so what i mean is say what i mean exactly is say uh, there is like a one two like this one two three and then one right so whenever this first one get executed hash map dot contains well is not there so that means hash map doesn't have that value for sure right so first one we we don't in, in, encounter this statement right and statement or like the rest part is going to get encountered now whenever we get the next one right that time contains value is true we will encounter this so where is i currently pointing i is currently pointing at the rightmost point right and hash dot get value is something pointing before that right by default is something pointing less than that or before that so it will always be a positive number so that's uh, how it is okay i i hope you can understand that it will always be less than that so that's how we is ask us to make a absolute value but we we are sure over here that we don't need to take absolute value because it will be positive by default right so that's how it is now uh, if that is the case we simply uh, return true okay we simply return true if this both uh, becomes true okay and else we just simply uh, uh, keep adding our value updating our value in our hash map fine now if we just uh, check for its run time then you will see uh, that this run time is something like uh, let's let's run it so it comes up to be something like 57 ms uh, I think it can be less than that as well, but okay, there's no problem with that. Anyways, 
let go is uh, getting mad 5766 anyways this is better let's look at the next uh, kind of approach we have the next kind of approach is i say is like a, a sliding window approach okay in this last sliding window approach we will uh, simply update our uh, uh, this map with a set let me show you the code for that so here is our the sliding window approach so what we are doing we just took a set okay set as you know set will always store our unique elements now what are we doing we are traversing through the whole num array okay uh, in the whole num array we are just checking if our window like this uh, sliding uh, the set contains our nums of i we return true okay so for the initial cases this value this cases won't be true so for the initial numbers we will keep checking for this window should add the nums of i okay so if a window contains nums of i we return true if it is there right but you will you, as i said you will uh, point out how this uh, is valid because we need to check for the absolute value so uh, that absolute value which comes from this part so we are checking if that i that is the current index is greater than equal to k okay if the current index is greater than equal to k we will simply remove a value that is nums of i minus k we'll simply remove the value that is far off from the uh, window okay or that is far off from the range because uh, for uh, absolute value to be less than equal to k we should look for that range only that k number of elements we should only look for we should not look for much uh, values much beyond that right so if the index is greater than equal to k we should keep removing elements from that okay we should keep removing elements so we just remove the element that is uh, much back, uh, previous to that so i minus k so if k is 2 and i is currently also 2 so i minus k will remove the zeroth index from our num set okay so that's how it is it works so if i just run it we'll see how it works uh, for us right now so here you see like i don't know why uh, this uh, uh, blit code has this uh, problem it comes up with much greater but this is not that high uh, high solution okay so here you see like this works pretty fine it works uh, 59 ms but you should never hit it you should uh, get it much lesser than that so that's it guys so that's how you just do it and uh, this uh, the last approach we are talking about the map right but we can check for another like uh, a bit simplified version of that map also uh, that map can be a bit simplified so let's quickly see that solution also so here is a map solution but see this map solution is like bit simplified how it goes uh, as well as the k equals zero those things are done okay now what we did we just keep on checking uh we just keep on checking that is uh, the whole uh, length uh, like the whole uh, num set is being traversed okay so uh, that whole num set is being traversed and in that how we are going ahead with it is like uh, we took like map dot put uh, nums and i fine so this is the big put so nums and i and it will return as the index fine now what will happen we are checking if the index is not null that is the value is uh, like previously the not there then it will be null so if the index is not null then what will happen we'll just check for the absolute value as you say you can do the reverse as well so i minus index or index minus i is like uh, you can do fine so if you just do uh, i minus index then also it should work so okay so i minus index is less than equal to k it's like the same concept but we're just uh, making use of the uh, return statement of the map dot put map dot put returns as a value Okay, that's the previous value if there is any. Okay, so whatever the the previous i value there, it will return us that. Okay, so map the put does that way. So it's a bit uh, improve you can say. Yes, uh, you can say run that. So if we just run that, it will uh, say it might improve our solution. See, this uh goes down to much much faster than the hundred ml than the ten ml second solution. How it improves this is like you are not checking for the map dot uh, uh those checks that whether the map dot contains key or not, whether this value is there or not. Okay, you are simply doing a map dot put. If the map dot put is like previously, if there's a value there in our map, it will return us that uh, uh like that uh map value. Or if there is nothing, it will return us null. So we are checking if the index is not null. That means it's there. There are some values previously, right? It will return us that value. So using that particular concept, you can see that uh that simple modification will just improve our solution to much much higher. Okay, that's a ten ml solution. Okay, so how this can be understood? How we can go ahead with the solution? So thank you all for watching this video. Also like this video and comment down if you have any doubts related to the question. I'll be happy to help you out in the comments as well. So thank you all for watching this video. Hope to see you soon in my next video as well. Thank you.